In this video, we'll be reviewing some of the event registration process and requirements. An event registration form, um, otherwise known as EVR, is required for all events hosted by student organizations, and that includes on-campus, off-campus, and virtual. On USD's event management system, uh, otherwise known as EMS, you can submit an EVR as well as gain access to several other event planning documents. So first we'll talk about gaining access to EMS. Um, one, you want to plan ahead. Gaining access will take at least one week. Two, ensure you are registered as a student organization member on Torero Orgs. Three, complete the USD Student Event Planner training, which will be linked below. And four, wait one week before trying to log on to EMS with your, user, with your USD username and password. Some important notes, if you're not able to log on to the website after one week, please email usdinvolvement at gmail.com for help. And also, if you work on campus, you may have access to EMS through your job, but you may not use this access for student organization events. And lastly, advisors are not permitted to submit an EVR on your behalf. So next, we'll be reviewing the different EVR forms that you'll see in the website. Um, first, we have the student EVR reserve space through fall 2020. Use this to reserve any on-campus space before December 31st, 2020. And the deadline to reserve is a minimum of three weeks before the event. And next, we have the student EVR non-classroom space after fall 2020. Use this to reserve non-classroom spaces after December 31st, 2020. Um, potential classroom spaces are on hold until class schedules for the following semester are solidified. And Again, the deadline to reserve for this one is a minimum of three weeks before the event. Next, we have the student EVR simple meeting through fall 2020. Use this to reserve any space on campus through December 31st, 2020 for meetings that do not require additional setup or forms. And it's important to note that all regular GBMs are required to be virtual in fall 2020. Um, this template should be used only for executive team and committee meetings. And the deadline to reserve here is a minimum of one week before the meeting. Next, we have student non-reservable space EVR. Use this to reserve spaces on campus that are not available on EMS. So for example, that could be the Commuter Commons, Frank's Lounge, the UFMC. Um, events held at these locations must remain open to all students, even if they are not participating in your event. And the deadline to reserve is a minimum of one week before the event. Next, we have the student off-campus EVR. So use this to request approval for an event at an off-campus location. And the deadline to reserve is a minimum of one week before day events and a minimum of two weeks before overnight trips. And lastly, we have the student virtual EVR. Use this to request approval for events and meetings that will be held virtually. The deadline to reserve these um, is a minimum of five business days before the meeting or event. So important things to know about that. Again, you want to plan ahead. Due to COVID-19 safety precautions, you will be required to meet with a scheduler before your event to determine a safety plan. Um, as well as you wanna think about on-campus event space will be limited for fall 2020 due to reduced room capacity and repurposed spaces.